Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have some really cute foam house DIYs for you. So to start off, I'm going to be taking these little bottles that I got from Michael's. They come six in a the pack. They was $9.99, but I used a coupon, so I got them for $5. I'm going to go ahead and spray paint those using this Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint in the color white. I will be making this, these little milk things that I've seen on Pinterest. I'm not sure what you would call it. But I went ahead and spray painted the bottles white. So after I did that, I'm going to go ahead and take this Dollar Tree sign and I'm going to take off the canvas, take the canvas off of it and just be using the piece that's in the middle. My wire cutters wasn't working, so I went ahead and used some scissors and my Zacto knife and I got it off. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. So once that was off, I'm going to go ahead and take some sanding paper and I'm going to sand down where the tag was at. And it was another piece that was stuck that I had to break off inside of here. And I'm going to sand that part down too. Then I'm going to take some paint mixing sticks that I have already pre-cut that fits at the bottom of this. Now when you're going to paint mixing sticks down, make sure if you was to do this project, make sure the ruler side of the paint mixing sticks is facing towards the bottom of the little... um. Thank you, the holder I'm making for my bottles. So next I'm going to go ahead and take some wood stain and go ahead and stain this whole thing. Inside, bottom, and everything. Once the um, wood stain is dry, I'm going to take some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and go ahead and dry brush some of some of it onto my little thing. I guess you can call it like a crate, not a basket, so we're going to call it a crate. That's what we're going to call it, or a box. I don't know. But there you go. I'm going to take my home, this is home decor, chalk paint in the color, I forgot, it's, it's black though, but they call it like midnight black or something else, but it's the home decor chalk paint. And I'm going to go ahead and just go around the top parts of my milk bottles, just adding a little distressed look to the top part of these. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna Once I do that, I'm gonna take these, um letters that I cut with my Crooked machine and place them on it. It just spells out milk. And I'm just going to place them on two my And once I did that, I was done and it turned out really cute. 
can add some flowers in these. You cannot add flowers in them. It's up to you. But they turned out really cute. So for this DIY, I'm going to be taking this Dollar Tree sign. And I'm going to be making a letter board. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stickers and everything off. And I'm going to tell you, see, you want to see what I'm going to do next. Once I got the stickers off, I went ahead and just sanded it where the stickers was at. Then I sanded it around the sign to get rid of some of that white paper that was showing on the back side. Next, I'm taking some of these wooden, square wooden dowels that I had left over, and I'm going to place them where I want them to put my letters, my little letters onto my letter board sign. Once I do give my placement right, I'm going to go ahead and glue all three of the sticks down. Next, I took some more paint mixing sticks and I cut them into little squares, pieces of wood. And I'm going to be using these as my letters. Where my letters, what this is what my letters would be being placed on. If you've ever seen a letter board. Once I get everything glued down, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my white chalk paint and I'm going to be painting this whole thing white. Then after I painted the whole thing white, I actually liked how some of the brown was coming through. So on my second coat, I didn't go really heavy. I just went back in just to touch up spots that the paint never even touched. Like the little spots in the corner. And um, I went a little heavier on the little square pieces too. But not so much on the sign itself. So this is what it looked like. You can see how the brown spots are still showing because I like that look. So next I'm just go ahead and distress it some more, mainly like the blocks and the dowels. I'm going to distress them down some more.
once I do that, I'm going to go and take some of this elephant color chalk paint. It's basically just a gray color chalk paint. And I'm going to dry brush um, whatever I like. It's up to you when you dry brush where you want the paint to be. But I did mine mostly around the edges and onto the pieces of wood. The little squares. Pieces of wood. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my vinyl pieces that I cut with my cooking machine and add, I'm just spelling out home sweet home. Once that was done, I took it, I went ahead and took off the other string and I added um, some of the jute string to make it a little longer. And I just placed that through the hole that the other one came out of. And next I'm going to be adding some flowers to this. Just a something, a little bit of something extra to it to make it cuter. So these flowers came from Michael's. They was $12.99. I got them for 70% off because they was part of the spring collection. So I went ahead and just glued, randomly glued flowers where I like them. I just placed them down first and then once I like where I was placing them, I just start to glue them down. And I also added some flowers to the bottom too. And that was it for this video. I hope you liked these two farmhouse DIYs. If you did, I will hope you stick around, hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell so you will not miss out on any future videos. And when you hit the notification bell, make sure to tap all so you will not miss out on any of my videos that I upload. 
that's it and thank you for watching bye